Good morning, boys and girls. Yes, sir. Time to clean the glasses. Because I can't even see. Are you there? Can't see you. Oh, okay. Alright, time to pitter patter, skid at her, get rolling. Oh, seatbelt. Come on, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. It's here somewhere. Okay, laid off. There we go. I don't look orange anymore. Brakes in. Contact. Gear in place. Landing gear uh, down. Okay. Off we go to the rodeo. Nothing coming, nothing coming, nothing coming, nothing coming. Why does he have an orange pylon by his truck? Oh, because he's that special dude. He's got that special cylinder hydro whatever gas there. Cylinder thingy there that we talked about in another video. So he's got like about 10 cylinders on that. Uh, maybe not 10, but yeah, a lot more. Hydro something or other. I couldn't read the whole thing. But he's had, he's got orange cone. Hey, dude. Dude, dude. What are you doing? Come on, Mr. B-Train. I know you guys can't see what I'm talking about. But he can't make up his mind. Is he going to go? Is he going to sit? Is he going to go? Come on, dude. He's heavy. I know that. I can't even show you. To be train full of lumber. I know he's gonna be slow getting on the highway. That sucks. Could let me go first. Yeah, that's it. Because you should have just known that I was coming and that I'm lighter than you, and then yeah, so that's it. Yeah, so you should have just known, buddy. You just should have known. That's all there's to it. Okay, so we're rolling. We're heading to Kitchener. We got four hours. Oh, we've got to turn on my GPS. Not that I need to know where I'm going. I already know where I'm going. Oh, mirror heat. We got foggy mirrors. And, but it shows me my distance, so I know roughly how much longer I have. Oh, nothing coming at all. So we can go right out to the far lane. And motor on down the road. We'll talk to you when we get there. The far. Well, it is time to get some fuel and top off. The new Castle Service Plaza. See if this guy can actually make it into the back without hitting anything. Oh, thank God he's not going to the fuel island. You know we won't run into that. Alrighty, time to fuel her up. Get some of that go-go juice, as they call it. Alrighty, fueling is done, but I gotta go all the way around. See, when the guys park on the side here, you can't actually cut through. Find you down here at the end, I can, because it's double spot, but. We have made it to Mississauga. Would you believe we have not stopped or slowed down once going westbound here? It's almost like everybody that travels westbound took the day off. On the other hand, everyone going eastbound, oh, that's a different story. They all have to work today. So maybe they take turns westbound one day, eastbound the next. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. But there was not a stitch of traffic going westbound today, man. That was bloody awesome coming through here. Couldn't believe it. Like I said, no traffic. Today's the day to be traveling westbound, I guess. Of course, I probably shouldn't have said that. Knock on wood, because we have the construction up here. The other side of the 410. Probably slow down there a bit. 
especially where this goes from three lanes or four lanes down to three, then down to two. We'll probably get a little bit of a backup up here, maybe. Find out. Who knows? And again, maybe not. I don't know. Gotta get past Dixie Road first, though, right? Yep, as suspected, we'd slow down here. That's what I thought. In the 403, 410, 401 meet here. It's because it goes from, well, you've got the construction up there. And it goes from the three lane down to the two here. Nobody seems to know how to merge. Correctly, at least. But the best part is... This is the only traffic we've had today. Well, that's pretty good. Alrighty, we're in Kitchener. Yep. Right here, we've already got a reload, but we're going to go hit the store first. And uh, top off on food and stuff. Some more drinks. Then we're going to hook on our trailer. Well, then we're going to have lunch. Probably. Or we might get out here first. I don't know. We'll see what time it is. But anyways, i got to get going. So we're going to, it's 1028, got to go to the grocery store, that's what we got to do. Yeah, it looks like uh, people decided to leave work early today. Been in this for a little bit now. Oh, Lord, you love Fridays. Everyone's heading to the cottage. What a campsite. The amount of campers and boats. You can see the way people got their cars all filled up. Yep, birds. Bicycle racks full. Back seat full of kids. Yep, it's definitely a uh, cottage traffic. Everyone comes out here and then they head up towards a lot of them head up like 135 there, or whatever it is, to Peterborough and get up in there into cottage country. Not just here, going up to 400 also. That's crazy up there too. I was hoping to beat this, but apparently not. It would appear that I didn't beat it. Oh, is it that time yet? Alrighty boys and girls, it's that time of day where we're calling because we just went in for a shower. We're stopped here at the SO uh, exit 611 off the 401. The SO card lock, uh, little truck stop. They got a cat scale here. And they got a little, uh... actually you know what guys, this place is awesome. I didn't realize it before, I've been going by here for years and years and years. There's new owners here and they've uh, really cleaned the place up. Uh, very, very, very clean showers, okay? I really gotta say that. They're older showers, but they're super, super clean. Awesome, awesome showers, good water pressure. They got a little restaurant here, it's open till uh, 9 p.m. only, but hey, you know, weekends, yeah, the hours are a little different. Uh, and the truck stop does close at 2 a.m. Saturday morning, well, Sunday morning, I guess, till 8 a.m. <clears throat> the fuel is still there, but if you need to get in for a shower. Now, the shower tickets, don't think it doesn't work at all. SO card locks, uh, Baynesville, and uh, this one here, and you get the free shower. But even so, you know what? It's only like $6.80 with the tax to take a shower here. Freaking half the price of uh, Flying J. And uh, so I know a lot of you guys that, uh, you know, get your fuel at the J and whatnot, and you get your free shower, blah, blah, blah. But hey, if you guys get a chance to fuel here at the SO, <clears throat> this is the place to stop. This is an awesome little place, man. They got a little C store. Don't have much in it right now. I mean, there's some stuff. Uh, but they're uh, it's new owners for the last, uh, I guess she said a couple months now. And they're, they're trying to, uh, you know, build the place up. So, uh, you know, family owned uh, place, independent. And this is what I like to see, because you get a lot of these mom and pa's and they just let the place go to, to shit in the hand basket, you know? They don't do much to take care of it, but uh, no, these guys are really, uh, they're, they're trying, you know, they don't have a TV yet in the driver's lounge, or in the lounge, they got some nice chairs in there, whatnot, table, uh, I think a couch I saw, 
But uh, yeah, they're working on putting a TV in the uh, driver's lounge. So yeah, I think this is going to be a good little truck stop. This is going to be my new little home, I think, uh, for running the corridor. So you guys are looking for me. Chances are I'm going to be here. But you know, I urge a lot of you guys, if you get a chance, stop in. Say hello. Yeah, check it out. I think you guys uh, would be pleasantly surprised. You wouldn't know it when you pulled up. You'd think, oh, it's an industrial complex. Now, it's got a truck wash here. There's a truck wash on the other side of the fuel island there. I heard the prices aren't too bad either in there. And then, of course, they got uh, a couple of companies here uh, with the loading docks and whatnot. Uh, TST Overland is upstairs. This is the same place as the Crossroads uh, uh, truck driver training place is. So, but anyway, yeah, check it out, guys. Anyways, we're going in the back for dinner. I'll show you what we're going to have. All right, you know, it's not that bright. I almost forgot to show you, but we're having Campbell's Chunky Chicken a la King uh, soup. That's what we're having. I don't even know if that showed up. That's what we're doing. Uh, here we go with the drunk camera again. Uh, it's probably still drunk. All righty. So, that's what we're having for dinner. Now we're going to get on the internet. And, ooh, I just flung whatever the hell that was. One of them little twisty tie thingies. Oh, my freaking carpet can't stay straight. For God's sakes. Okay, laptop. So one nice thing about running Intercan. Come on, wire. Because <clears throat> I know I have internet every single night. Why? Because of my... Uh, Rogers thingy. Careful with it, we don't want it to get damaged. So, got some smudgy marks on it though. Oh well, alright, yeah, so that's what we're doing. I'll check back with you in a bit.